Hello, I'm Christian. And did you guys know that 10 people drown each day of our lives? 10 people. And that one in the five uh, fatal uh, drowning victims are a child? That's probably why my grandfather uh, got me to swimming lessons. And because of that, it became a passion. The three things that I'm going to talk about today are my passion, how I see myself in 10 years, and my philosophy in life. And now I'm going to talk about my passion, which is swimming, honestly. I started when I was five. My grandfather told my mom he's going to swimming lessons. My mom was terrified. She was afraid that I would drown. But uh, I did great, and I won a lot of medals. And it was pretty a pretty nice experience being able to be in the podium. I actually uh, won silver medal in an Olympic, we could say, in my region where, where I lived in my country. And it was an Olympic in that region, and I I was brought up to the Olympics, kind of cheating because I was supposed to be nine to be able to enter, but I was eight. And uh, we just said that I was eight and I could enter and I won to a medal. And it was a great feeling being in the podium, saying my name, oh, you won second place. It, it was a great experience. But swimming is not the only thing I want to do in my life. I see myself in 10 years having a family, a lovely wife with maybe two kids. I'm thinking about one, but you know, maybe a little <laughs> boy and a girl just to, you know, they have company each other. But the other thing that I want to have is a house by my, or for myself and my family because I, I've i moved from my uh, dad's house to my grandparents' house. I live with my grandparents right now for personal reasons. And on both of them, I had limitations. I'm not actually free from everything. Like I have, I have freedom with my dad on some things and then freedom with my grandparents and other things. And I really have, want to have the freedom for everything. You know what I mean? So I really want to have a house for myself. The third thing that I want to see myself having in 10 years is a job in my career. I want, I'm majoring in mechanical engineering and I absolutely love building stuff. When I was little, I used to have bionicles and I'll just break them apart, build something that was different from the actual, um, you could say the blueprint that they gave you to build it. And I would just love to tear it apart, put some new parts in from other bionicles. It was great. And so that, makes me, that made me thought that I really want to have hands-on, uh, a hands-on career, but I actually love math also. So that gave me both options. And uh, the next thing will help me achieve this which is my philosophy in life. It is, uh, my philosophy in life is, don't worry, be happy. I actually, I'm a very happy person. It's really hard for you to see me mad or sad. I actually read something online that uh, if you smile, it'll act, the movement of your muscles in your face and thinking that you're smiling will actually change your mood. And I actually tried this one time. I was. Really, really mad. I can't even remember why. Uh, my girl, uh, by that time, my girlfriend, and I looked myself in the mirror, and I smiled at myself. And looking at me, it made me laugh of how silly I would look. <laughs> and it actually changed my mood. And it, it, that's how I live now. Every time I think about something that's going bad, or something that made me sad, I just think about the positive outcome that could that be. And now that I've talked to you about my philosophy in life, my passion, and my, uh, how I see myself in 10 years, I want you to think about how you can raise your kids. I hope you think, first of all, to uh, inscribe them in swimming lessons. <laughs> <laughs> and to be a happy parent. Never be that crump or mad parent that's always, oh no, why are you doing this, why are you doing that? I want you to be a happy parent. And thank you for listening to my speech.